Hello YouTube, this is Idabomb00. Today I'm bringing you a proxy tutorial. Now I'm going to show you how to set up a proxy that will work with any application that uses the internet on your computer. There is no software to download, it is all built into your Windows operating system. Now I'm making this tutorial for a guy that asked me to make it about a year ago uh, I don't remember his name, but if you're watching this, this one's for you. So, you're probably asking yourself, is this tutorial re really right for me? Well, the purpose of this proxy is to get around things like IP bans, which generally take place in games and, like, chats. And if so if you know that you're IP banned, then you can get around this using this proxy. Um, if you're like username banned from a service then there's nothing that you can really do about that but if your IP is banned this will work this will get you around that IP ban <laughs> now um, the first thing you want to do is go to Google and type in what is my IP now the uh, right here is my IP address I'll probably be blurring that out somehow protect my IP address and uh, it'll give you your location based on that IP address over here on the left if you're ever wondering how the hell they know where you're at uh, but anyway um, so next thing we want to do is go over to socks proxy list so SocksList.net is what we're actually looking for and um, basically what you want to do is try to find a proxy that's in your own country so that way you get the fastest possible connection when you actually do use a proxy so uh... i've already checked the ones of my country up to here until i found one that worked you gotta realize that the service is free a lot of people actually do pay for good proxies that are you know secure and they're always up running and they're fast but this is free so it's not going to be the best in the world and you'll find a lot of them don't work some of them do and some of them work pretty nice but this one is going to work for me today so what you want to do is click on the start button and type in internet options uh, bear with me I'm typing with one hand right now and there it is we're going to click on the internet options and you the first thing right off the bat you will you may recognize this to be the options for internet explorer and yes it is but and it's also options for your whole computer because Internet Explorer is very integrated with the Windows operating system so it's not all just for Windows or for Internet Explorer so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the connections tab and at the bottom tap LAN settings now uh, under proxy server click use a proxy check this box use a proxy server for your LAN these settings will not apply to dial-up or VPN if you don't know what dial-up or VPN connections are you probably don't have it anyway go to advanced make sure that this is unchecked if it's checked you can't get to the box you need to be in if it's unchecked you can so you're going to uh, copy the IP address you're going to use and type it into the proxy address line beside socks. You're also going to copy the port. And we're going to paste it right beside it under where it says port. So, there we go. Click OK. Click OK again. Leave this up because it probably will not work. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. You know, a lot of these really do actually work. Um, but anyway, go open a new tab, go to Google, and yeah, there it goes. Now load it up. Uh, if it doesn't load up at this point, then that proxy probably doesn't work. Uh, if you want to try to refresh it a few times, to see if it'll get it to work you can go ahead and do that but usually they're not working if they don't load anything now type in google what is my IP 
and as you can see it has changed my location from the first one here is my first location before I changed my IP address this is my actual IP address and after I've changed it it's changed me to Allentown Pennsylvania and here is the new IP so this is what the IP address will see in any application that you, you, you are using on your computer so it'll get around IP bands this way uh, that's really that's all I got for you on the computer part uh, after this I have a slideshow that explains how exactly proxies work for the people who are you know just want to know or just curious it will also explain to you exactly what you are getting into what to use the proxy for what to not use it for and uh, just to keep you on the safe side uh, so uh, yeah I'll uh, see you there if you don't want to watch it that's fine you can click off the video and thank me in the comments or or not or just tell me that it didn't work but anyway see you guys so here's the educational part of the video I'm gonna explain exactly how this proxy is working uh, so let's just pretend that this is you on your computer you use it for gaming chatting uh, surfing the web whatever and uh, not all setups, but most common setups have a, or involve some sort of router. Sometimes they're even built into the modem. Uh, but yeah, basically what a router does is it disperses your modem, the internet IP address, into your router so that way you, more than one device can connect. Whether it's wireless or wired, it doesn't really matter. So here's the service that you use, whatever internet browsing gaming and uh, let's say that you got IP band and so basically your connection is broken between your IP address and the service you were using which is where proxies come into play basically they uh, relay the information between their IP address and the service you're trying to contact and they send it to you instead of going straight through your I, your IP address and um, this is good for really only IP bands in which they ban your IP address if it's some kind of username you're probably screwed um, try to form some kind of appeal that's the best uh, advice I can give you but yeah um, basically the proxy is working like this poorly drawn mask right here and um, so basically this over here on the other side can't doesn't even know your ISP is there which basically makes you undetectable by them but you gotta really be careful with this especially when you're doing uh, like peer-to-peer -peer connections which could be considered illegal because your um, proxy could be logging your IP address so if they if if this is like some movie you're downloading and they see that the proxy IP address they might try to contact them and if they have logs on on you that it's you doing it then you could end up in trouble just wanted to give you that fair warning there about using proxies and how they could potentially just not be safe but yeah that's really all I got if you have a question about the tutorial on how to change your IP address, leave a comment below. Also, if you have a question on how proxies work, I'm always available for a private message. So if you don't want to leave a comment, uh, you can private message me. I don't mind. Also, uh, give it a like. And uh, if it doesn't work right away, try it again. You know, always give it that honest second try. And yeah, that's all I got for you today. Uh, thanks. See you whenever I upload my next tutorial.